Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, Sean Knight for you here. Uh, here to do a little review on the Sun Gold Power 6000 LFP uh, 48 volt split phase inverter, um, 240 volt output, obviously. Um, so, right now I have it uh, running through 6 gauge cable to um, my breaker box through an uh, interlock kit. And um, right now it's powering my old, old, entire house. Um, I'm not running any of the uh, HVAC systems. Um, it has its limits, but um, right now we just have a small space heater. I'm only using about a thousand watts. So, but we'll test out and see what it can do. Um, so, as I said, it's a LFP inverter, meaning it's a um, low frequency inverter. These are use a transformer instead of MOSFET, and what that ends up mean meaning is um, it's more capable of uh, a higher surges. Um, they're generally more reliable. Uh, downsides are they're less efficient and um, less efficient, heavier, um, and I guess that's about all. So, yeah, uh, these this one's a six thousand watt unit, but it can peak up to they say eighteen thousand watts for a few seconds, but it can sustain like ten thousand watts for a few minutes. Um, right now, we're at about thirteen percent drop. Let me see if I can turn on um, my downstairs. Uh, HVAC heater and that says 30 amps, but the inrush current is way more than that. So let's see what it does here um, It's not gonna run if my upstairs is already hot Oh, oh it ran it. Okay uh, At least for a short time Turn the fan on for a short time um, Other big one is uh, well Water heater that runs about 5,000 watts. So let's see if it can run the water heater. All right, that seems to be fine. Um, it's pretty close to 100% right now. So we'll turn that off. Um, let me uh, turn on a few stoves and then we'll turn that water heater back on. I'll be right back. All right, so right now I'm running a couple of burners um, on the stove top. So we're running at 5,000 kilowatts, um, now down to 2,000. All right, now I'm gonna turn on that water heater and see what it does. All right. Okay, it jumped up to 10 kilowatts now. With that's the stove tops and the water heaters. So it can it's go for a few uh, seconds at that higher range. Um, the stove tops are going up and down, on and off, so, because um, there's nothing on them, they, they automatically turn down. So yeah, it definitely has good uh, surge capability. Um, I, I don't even have any big motors to test it, but it will run other than the uh, AC, um, and that was kind of iffy on that one. So that's, that's a three ton unit. Um, I don't think it's very uh, cold upstairs, so I don't think it's really needing to run. Um, so yeah, uh, one thing about this, let me turn the stove tops off. All right, I'll be right back. All right, da -da -da -da. All right stove's off, safety. Okay. So yeah, this unit does not have, um, a built-in MPPT charge controller, you know, which is fine. I kind of like everything separated anyways. Um, I got a, you know, just a Victron up there, a uh, medium size one. And for my few panels, that works great. Um, I had this for about two years. I think it's about $1,200 at the time. It might be a little bit more now. But yeah, for uh, emergency home backup, um, if you just want a DIY kind of system, um, very reliable unit.
So yeah, um, emergencies, I'll be able to at least, you know, have running water um, and, you know, limit, I could use a few space heaters in the winter. Um, summer, I could probably run a few fans, but uh, water is a big one. And of course, obviously the lights. So yeah, any questions? Um, hit me up uh, below, uh, like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.